up guys what is up it's your boy mushroom gecko here welcome back to another 20 w 6 a snapshot uh makeover so today I, i've made a lot of improvements thank you rain for coming again I'm gonna make you clear all right cool so i have a bunch of these uh blocks here which uh, correspond to the number command blocks here so last video if you did not see I made it so a full netherite armor set, which is a new armor set, stronger than diamond in the new update, uh, gives you fire protection upon wearing the full set. And uh, I have also the new netherite sword have fire aspect one as its base enchantment instead of, you know, whatever its base enchantment is. Because if it comes from the nether, why does it have fire aspect? Because it's dumb, that's why. So, today... We have a few things going on here. I'm going to go into survival. Game mode. <laughs> you yeah, know, I said survival and I went into creative. I have three brain cells and they're all smooth and none of them work. So, that's what is the first up thing over there. Let's, uh, let's get this netherite axe with smelting. So, as you see here, I have this cool netherite axe and it has an enchantment called smelting. So, you're like, smelting is it? It's is that a new enchantment? It should be. No, it's not, but it should be. I made the enchantment. How did you make the enchantment? I'll show you later. Shut up. So, if I mine this, it gives me charcoal. Pretty cool, right? Because if you, you know, put wood in a furnace, it, it creates charcoal. So, I made I made a thing with the new tools that it smelts things with the enchantment. I was going to make it like a base thing. Because, like, you know, they're made of fire, they should automatically smelt stuff. But I thought it would be more fitting if it was an enchantment. Because if you're, like, trying to mine down a tree with a netherite axe, and it just turns into charcoal with the base thing, that would not be fun. So I just made it so it's just an enchantment. So boom, boom, boom. It works with every wood type. I was lazy, and I didn't want to do the strip variants of it. So, yeah. So here we go. It just proving you with every wood. It, it gives you charcoal cool right yeah so over here i have sand and clay so i'm going to use my <gasps> netherite shovel with smelting boom it's glass boom it's glass again boom glass it automatically smelts the, the sand the sanded glass because yeah that's that's what it's supposed to do uh so the clay now Oh, it gives you the bricks. Also, as you just saw, uh, enchantment XP stuff orbs. Yeah, so if you mine certain things, it gives you uh, enchantment orbs equal to however much it'll give you if you smelted it in the furnace. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Give me 12 bricks, because if you smelt clay balls, it gives you it gives you bricks. So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, now, on to the ores, which is, I think, my favorite. It, it, it's not, I think, it is my favorite. Boom. Netherite pickaxe with smelting also. The shovel also is smelting. Not sure if I showed that. So it has smelting. Boom. Gold. Boom. Gold again with XP. Boom. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I think I made a video similar to this like way in the past. But I had but I recorded at like 10 frames and it was a crappy version of how I do it did this. It's actually pretty interesting how I did this. And also the enchantments. There's something really cool I need to show you guys. Oh my god. So yeah, uh, the new nether or the new ancient debris also is automatically smelted. If you guys don't know if you mine this, it just comes in this block here and it doesn't give you the the uh, the uh, netherite scrap. It just gives you the block. So I made it automatically smelt that. Also with stone, I made it so it smelts into smooth stone. Now I know it drops cobblestone, so you're like. Well, if it drops cobblestone, why not just melt it back into into regular stone? Well, you see, that that's what silk touch is for. So, I thought that would have been a little redundant, so I just made it go to smooth stone. So, yeah. Uh, so, some of those things gave experience, some didn't. Like, the sand didn't, because that would have been a little overpowered. But the golden iron did, because it makes sense. And, uh, and that's how much you get in the furnace. But, let's say you're mining, mining, mining a bunch of the sand... To smelt it to glass, and you're getting all this experience, it'd just be a little overpowered. So I, I just kind of limited that. Um, so yeah, 
There's another thing. Oh, yes. So if I... Can, can, can I go into creative pretty please game? Thank you. Uh, I'm going to clear myself here. Let's say I have some stone, actually. Iron. Get some <gasps> iron. And we should get some netherite X. So yeah, oh my god. Second time. Come on, weather clear, weather clear. There we go. So if I get the, there you are. Pickaxe. And boom, boom, boom. And I go into survival mode. If I mine this normally with a netherite axe or pickaxe, it just, it just gives you the ore. But if you mine it with the enchanted one with smelting, it doesn't. Now, there is a little glitch where if you mine that and you switch to the smelting, it does that. Yeah, that's a little unintended. Don't know how to do that. Also, that lava line right there, I'll show you what that is right now. Um... So, <laughs> you guys know what Frostwalker is? Of course you do. You guys play Minecraft. You know what Frostwalker is. Y'all aren't stupid, I hope. Like me. So, I have these boots with <gasps> Magma Walker. And you're like, what's Magma Walker? Well, Magma Walker, if you already know what Frostwalker is, lets you do this. Wee! Yeah, it lets you walk on lava. So, that's pretty cool. It's uh, going to be kind of helpful with traversing the nether. In like those big lava pools so yeah uh, that would be a pretty nice enchantment to have on some boots that you have also i noticed something with the uh enchantment animation if you see on the edge right there on the edge of the boots it, it has the enchanted glow but there's no texture there for the boots which is quite interesting right there so yeah um Uh, okay. Hi. It appears we have a visitor. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alamos. I don't know, maybe I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, I'm sorry. Not really. Well, I don't like you. I'm sorry for the llamas, not this guy. We, yeah, so Lava Walker, Magma Walker. That's pretty cool. So, real quick. I just want to go over the command blocks. Look, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. And I say this in every video. I say this in every video. It looks like a lot, but it's just the same commands repeated that many times over. So, <gasps> let's clear. And then let's go into creative. Because I can't click on command blocks in survival. Because intentional game design. So, <sighs> okay, where to begin? Let's start with the smelting pick. Let's do iron. Okie dokie. Actually, first, let's start with giving it to you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, it looks like a lot. I'm just going to go over this very, very briefly. So, you guys know the game command. Give it the nearest player. Minecraft Netherite Pickaxe. Here's the uh, NBT tag. Smelting pick. This is the tag. The tag worked different in 1.14 and above. The tags no longer use the tag tag, but instead it's a tag without the tag tag. If that's weird, it's weird. Just, you, don't, you don't have to do this anymore. You don't, you don't have to do, oops, wrong bracket. You don't have to do that anymore. In fact, you're not allowed to. Oops. In fact, you're not allowed to do that. The game will not recognize it as a tag. So you do the tag tag without the tag, just the name, smelting pick, or whatever your tag is. <gasps> yeah, I know, that's a mouthful. So, okay, display. Display is what is displayed, obviously, on your weapon. So if I have this, and I have this, Tool right here it has smelting. That's what it displays. The display displays the display. So the display displays the, the lore of smelting. Lore? What is lore? Lore is the thing right here. So the netherite pickaxe is the name. The smelting is the lore. That's lore. <laughs> so the lore. Um, yeah, they replaced lore. I was spending like an hour trying to figure out why isn't my lore working, and then I realized, oh, like after some digging around, I was just like, oh yeah, they changed it to JSON format. Thank you, Mojang. Very cool. Uh, so, but the thing about the JSON format that I like without, you know, uh, 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 I'm a programming major. I should know what these are called. <sighs> escape characters. Thank you. God. So, these are escape characters. Backslash, uh, uh, quote, that's an escape character. I just ignore those for this purpose. It looks like a lot, and it's very mind-boggling, and I'm actually getting dizzy looking at this right now. So, first, text is smelting. So... 
this, the, the smelting thing, that's the text, obviously. That, that's the text. So text, smelt. And then you can change the color now to gray. Before you had to go into the Minecraft files and change the MBT tags in there. But now you don't have to because JSON. That's cool. But the escape characters aren't cool. But anywho, you can do it. So color, gray. And then you can turn the italic to off. So it looks like an actual enchantment name now instead of just like that stupid little purple slanted thing. If you wanted to make your own enchantment in the past with lore, you don't have to do that anymore. You can customize it to your liking and it's really cool. Oh, okay. And then to give it the enchantment effect, to, to give it the little glowy purple thingy, the, the little ooh, glowy, glowy, glow, uh, you just do enchantments and then instead you can just instead of doing the id you can just have the level in there and as long as you have the level in there it gives it the glowy effect which is cool okay so that's how that works with uh giving you it all yes so it works with the whole thing like for my smelting axe i gave it the tag of smelting axe and i'll show you why i use the tag instead of just having a long mpt tag of smelting and then comparing it to the netherite axe because tags are a lot better, and I'll show you why soon. Uh, same thing here with uh, with my shovel. It's a uh, smelting shovel with the lore smelting. And then um, over here with the netherite boots with a magma walker. Uh, at the beginning, yeah, it's just give the netherite boots with magma walker. It's the tag, play lore, and instead of, yeah, what's it called? Smelting, it's just magma walker. Same color. Same italic to false and enchantment level one. Okay, so that's how you get them to you. Don't worry. As always, it will be in the description. So you guys can copy and paste my code like Stack Overflow. Okay, so I have comments here. <laughs> I feel like a good little programmer. So this block right here checks for smelting. This block right here checks for summoning ingot. This block right here kills the ore. And this block right here summons the XP. Okay, get it? No? Okay, let's go over it. So this one right here, smelting melting iron yes okay so okay i'm going to try to go over this very briefly but at the same time make it understandable so i'm going to execute if the entity of the player if entity player with the mbt tag so the player has the specific tag the specific mbt value of the selected item so if it's in their current hand like if you're hovering over it like this if it's in your current hand that's what it's testing for and then it, what is, once it's done testing for that, it looks at the ID. It looks, okay, is it a netherite pick? Theoretically, you don't need a netherite pick in here because if you want to put this enchantment, the smelting enchantment on like a diamond pickaxe or a stone pickaxe, you can just remove the netherite pickaxe tag. So you can just have this tag of whatever your thing is. So my tag, smelting pick, remember over here, right he, here, the, the tag of smelting pick without the tag tag. Yeah, that tag. Yeah, we uh, we do smelting pick as tag. Although here we do use the tag tag but over there. We don't use the tag tag. It's weird. It's mind boggling. It's stupid. Just copy and paste it if you want my code. So yes. <sighs> oh my god. Okay. So after it's done running that, after it's done testing if the player has a netherite pickaxe with the tag of smelting pick, it's going to run the game rule command block output to <gasps> false. Now, you probably don't need to do this. I do this just to be safe with knowing it's actually going to run. Okay, so this is a chain command block, right? This is a repeat command block, always active, no redstone. This repeat command block has to be conditional. These command blocks in the row have, they have to be conditional. And what conditional means is they only activate when the previous command block successfully activates, right? So if it successfully detects, if I'm holding this, it will move on and try to test for this command. So the second command executes at the entity type of item. So it tests for a Minecraft item. An item is an entity, right? with the MBT tag of Minecraft Iron Ore. So this is the Iron Ore one. So when I mine the Iron Ore, this one is gonna detect and be like, oh, there's an Iron Ore that exists in the world. And then it's gonna run a summon command at that Iron Ore of another Minecraft item. So these three tildes right here, I mean, it's running at that location of the Iron Ore. With, and then uh, the MBT of that item that it wants to summon is an Iron Ingot with a count of one. Okay, because if you had one, because if you have multiple, 
it would just loop through faster than the command blocks can tick. We don't want that. We only want it to summon one. We don't want it to summon three ingots or four ingots or like 10. We want it to summon one ingot for one ore, right? Okay. So TLDR, this one just checks to see, hey, is the iron ore in the world? Yes? Okay, summon an iron ingot. This next one kills the iron ore because we don't want it to keep constantly spawning iron ingot. The second it spawns the iron ingot, we want the iron ore to die because we want to smelt it. We don't want to keep it forever, right? So it's going to kill at the nearest entity a Minecraft item with the MBT tag of Minecraft iron ore with count of one because there's only one that exists. We want the one that exists to be our iron ore, if that makes sense. Without the count tag, it's weird and it's going to break. I tried it without the count tag. And I'm like, okay, I guess I need the count tag. So yeah. Oh, no. Uh, uh, conditional copy paste. La, 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 la. Iron ingot, and then we're in a value of one. Okay, <gasps> okay, I actually broke that. That's not good. Okay, back there. So, what this does is it executes at the nearest item of Minecraft Iron Ingot, because now since we killed... Okay, so what we're doing is, once we break the iron ore, it's going to summon an iron ingot. It's going to kill the iron ore, and then what this one is doing is it's summoning the experience like you would get from if you were smelting it. So it's uh, running at the nearest Minecraft ingot item with a count of 1B. Remember, if we don't have that count, it's going to break, and it's going to run a summon command of a Minecraft experience orb at that location with a value of 1. Okay, <laughs> now these three commands, the same exact thing as this one, but just for the various different things. Like for the pick gold, it changes uh, Minecraft gold ore to the gold ingot. This one changes, oh, this is the iron one. This one changes the, nether, uh, the ancient debris to another scrap. And this one changes the cobblestone, cobblestone. Okay, so once we mine the stone, it turns into cobblestone, right? So we're going to run at cobblestone, not stone make Minecraft smooth stone. All right. Now, these three ones are pretty much the same thing as here, except without the experience one, without the experience block. So yes, uh, they, they all work the same. It's just like these, just without the experience block. It's the same exact commands running to test. Now, if you have a netherite axe with the tag of smelting axe, right? So the same exact ones here, except it's running at the axe, and it's running to test for wood instead of running for ores and the pickaxe. Dude, this is the third time. So this last one is the same exact thing as all of those. I know this is very tedious. Like I said at the beginning, it looks like a lot of command blocks, but it's the same three or four repeated over and over and over again. Smelting uh, shovel sand... Same deal with the axe and pickaxe, except now it's, it's testing for another at shovel with the tag of smelting shovel, right? And uh, instead of, you know, doing wood or ores, it's changing sand into glass. And then it's going to kill the sand to uh, just keep the glass there. So, yeah. Last one right here, it's a little, just a tad different, but it follows the same thing all the way over there. So, once again, testing for the shovel with the uh, tag of shovel smelt. I know all this text is in the way. But this one can execute at the type of Minecraft item with the type uh, ID of... Oh, so this one is um, testing if there are Minecraft clay balls, right? But this... It's going to summon an item of brick because... You need to get bricks from smelting clay balls, but it's got a count of 4B instead of 1, because you get 4 clay balls per clay block, right? Same deal here, it's just going to kill the clay balls, but it's only going to kill 4 of them, but those 4 are the ones that you mined, so it's only going to kill those 4. If we had it 1, it would only kill 1, and it would just go in an endless loop of creating multiple bricks, and it would crash your world, and we don't want that. Uh, this one I did give uh, an experience orb. Uh, what did I do here? Okay, 
So I ran this one at the Minecraft bricks with the count of four. So I'm running it at the four nearest bricks, which are the one that you just mined. So run a summon uh, experience orb command at that spot with the value of one. So yes, these are, that was a big mouthful. But TLDR, they all do the same thing. They all test to see if you have a specific item in hand. They all test to see if there's a certain ore, wood, or other item on the ground. And then it's going to test to see, hey, we're gonna is that thing on the ground? If so, summon it. If it's on the ground and the player also has that item in the hand, summon this item. And then it's going to kill the base item. So it's going to kill the ore or the wood or the, gla or, or the sand or the clay to make way for the ingots and the charcoal and the glass and the bricks. <clears throat> okay, Magma Walker. So Magma Walker is the same thing, kind of. It's the same thing as I did over there yesterday. This one just executes uh, at the nearest player as at the nearest player with the MVP tag of the inventory slot of 100B, which is your foot tag. So this slot right here is 100B. Uh, and it's going to test to see if you have um, netherite boots with the tag of Magma Walker. All right. And if so, it's going to run the command block output false. And then it's going to also going to run this conditional chain command block uh, executing at the nearest player if the block below them is Minecraft Lava. So what this is doing is if the, if the last command block ran correct, if it ran true, what it's going to do is activate this one. So it's going to say, okay, this player is wearing this certain boots. Now, let's, let's loop through and see if they're standing on Lava. And, can, and right now I'm standing on uh, on grass, so it's like, okay, not standing on lava, and it's just going to keep waiting until you stand on lava. And when it tests that you stand on lava, it's going to run a set block command below you, so at your feet, of Minecraft cobblestone. And it's going to replace the lava with cobblestone. Okie dokie. <laughs> that was a lot. That was a mouthful. But let's just, let's go into the nether and just test this out real quick. <gasps> Okay, so where are where's like a big lava pool? Ah, there we go. So as you can see, this magma walker thing is very useful for if you want to traverse the Nether. It's freaking awesome. Uh, if you pay, it, it will work with the with the uh, uh, fire resistance armor set. So yeah, this is just really cool. I feel this is very useful, and uh, yeah, it would just be a freaking awesome enchantment to have. Right now, I'm gonna kill. I'm just gonna fall out of the world real quick because I want to show you guys one last thing. So if I come over here and I get efficiency, efficiency five, and I get another right pickaxe, right? And I come over here, and I get this netherite pickaxe efficiency 5. And I come over here, and I take this netherite pickaxe with smelting. And I do... And I just give myself... Like, let's say you have a bunch of experience, right? Game mode. Survival. So, 63 experience. If I take this efficiency 5 pickaxe, and I pair it with a smelting... Oh, wrong way. It will work. It will pair. And it will keep the smelting enchantment. So if I go back into creative and I summon some iron and some ancient, I cannot spell ancient, ancient debris. And I go back into survival. It's going to mine really fast and it keeps the smelting thing. So ancient debris takes a long time to break down, but with that efficiency, it breaks down pretty fast. So yes, you can combine the enchantments. You can combine Magma Walker with other things uh, as well. So if I have some netherite boots, and I have what the what's a good one? Feather falling. Feather falling four, sure. And I just go boom, boom, boom. I go survival, and just to show that it does work in survival, oops, wrong way, there we go, Feather Falling 4 and Magma Walker, so if I go into the end now, or not end, nether, I'm dumb, 
what it will do is it will allow me. Yeah. Okay. Here's a good one. Magma. Or lava. Oh. Oh no. What happened? May have to be solid blocks. It may have to be solid blocks of of, uh, of lava. Which um, hmm. okay, that's good to know. So uh, let's let's just let's just pretend that never happened, and then that feather falling uh, let's go over here. Boom, boom, boom. And yeah, those on. I have them on. Survival. Now let's just throw this up. Oh, fourth time. Can someone? Can someone just like? All right, let's play a game. Take a drink of Dr. Pepper every time the uh, starts raining. All right. So I need I need some solid, some solid thick lava blocks. Solid, 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 solid. Man, I'm in the nether, dude. Where is some lava? Man, is it actually that hard to find lava in the nether? If it is, that's not cool. Cause I don't wanna, you know what? Let's just, let's just go into creative. Let's fly around, find some lava real quick. Some solid lava, lava source blocks. Bruh, this is kinda dumb. Please, please, oh, okay, cool. So there's some right here. Also, Soul Sand Valley. That's pretty cool. Okay. So this gas may see me. Oh my god. Okay, so it does work. It just... Soul Sand was like, I don't want to let you live. And yeah, so it does work. Just the Soul Sand... Thank you, Rain. Just the Soul Sand was like, I'm going to make you not live. So yeah. Um, maybe not directly beneath you. Where is my weather clear? There we go. That zombie's gonna come kill me, but oh well. Okay. I think that's it for the video. It was very mind-boggling, I know, but I'll put everything in, in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think. Should these enchantments be in the base game along with the other right tools? I feel like it's pretty acceptable. Count how many times I, I was on fire this game. Count how lucky I am with getting this carrot from the zombie. And count how many times it rains. And I don't know, I'll give you a like on your comment. So yeah, uh, love wonderful life of the mycelium mushrooms. <gasps> have a good time with club pickles and keep those gems shining, everyone. So yeah, hope you guys have a good day. Once again, tell me what you think about these enchantments. I'll put everything in the comments. And yeah, also remember if you do this, uh, this command block, the purple one is on repeat and always active and unconditional. And all the uh, the chains are in chain mode and are always active, and they are conditional. They have to be conditional. Just keep that in mind. They have to be conditional. So yeah, I'll see you guys around, and have a good day.